like we saw those uh, examples here. So the challenge for a sadhaka is that through his sadhana, through his reading, through his hearing, especially through his association with the great souls, you know, he keeps himself in a mood of exploration to really detect, are the weeds coming out? Are there weeds here? Because seeds and weeds are very, very similar. Seed is that I want to please Krishna. And weed also is like, this is for Krishna's pleasure. It's not that, you know, it comes up something and a person feels like, this is my sense of gratitude. No devotee in any stage will never accept that there is no intention in my intention. भले ही काम गलत कर देगा लेकिन काम गलत किया लेकिन इंटेंशन सही था वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू यू नो फिगर इट आउट बिकॉज वीट लुक्स लाइक सीड ना तो आप किसी भी जाके बोले तुमने गलती किया तुम कृष्णा को प्लीज नहीं करना चाहते ऐसे यू नो लाइक बिकम्स हर्टिंग फॉर हिम आल्सो सो नन ऑफ अस एट एनी टाइम विल एवर बिलीव दैट वी डोंट वांट टू प्लीज कृष्णा बिकॉज़ दैट वी हैव हर्ट सो मच वी नो दैट इज द बेसिक थिंग बट येट टू ट्रूली एक्ट फॉर कृष्णा प्लेजर इज नॉट एन इजी टास्क so this gap between what we understand and what we actually do it's something which requires mercy and which requires prayer really detect it detect ho gaya to kuch kar sakte ho detect hi nahi hota aur weed ko hi seed ke jaisa pani dalte jaate hain so weed becomes strong and the seed goes in the side so this is very subtle process it has a subtlety it's not like a gross thing so when we hear and we read such thing then we should go into a mood of like at least try to figure out is everything going okay is my inspiration my intention really like that and if it is like that then the uh, the thing is that we will see the world in a very you know uh, what i can say in a reconciled way we will not have agitation with much with that because you know for krishna pleasure uh, we can do anything at any time it's a hetu ki pratiyata we can experience that but our own attachment make us feel very restricted and you know causes a lot of stress so then a person in respect to what situation he goes through he says theek hai ye nahi to ye sahi ye nahi to ye sahi har situation bhagwan ko to please karna hai bhagwan ne jaisa rakha hai waisa rakhne ke us situation mein hum try kar lenge although we may have our choices but even if our choices are not fulfilled we are equally okay to fulfill the lord choice because our choice ultimately the goal of our choice is also to please krishna so time permits we will play a video clip at the end so this is again continuation of prarabdha we already read it so i'm not going to that the bijam also we read that part how it is the elephant bath and pure devotion of a nullify sinful reaction inject the heart with desire to serve krishna and destroy his material desires and we quoted this agam dunvanti karshneya niharam eva paskara and ignorance is compared to the snake and devotion service like a forest fire so they are immediately killed at that and then there is subodha subodha means pure devotion service is all auspicious what it means subhani prinanam sarva jagatam anuraktata sat guna sukham iti adini akhyatni manishi bhi so what is subodha there are four qualities being told sarva jagatam Prinanam, he feels compassion for everyone. That is the quality which appears in the heart of him. He feels compassion. Even a new person, he feels hello in book distribution. I scope with them. And some the new people are more enthusiastic and indiscriminative than a seasoned devotee. ये लेगा या नहीं लेगा? New devotee goes to everyone. पता नहीं कौन ले रहा है. So that's a part of compassion. You know, who does it? I mean, people. Uh, I'm still conditioned to ask for something, to interact with some people. It's not easy because of you know that kind of aristocratic pride of living in a very opulent way. So not easy. But when you become a devotee, then you know, shall I go to Shri Jana? My brother is a bus party. Is Jana? Is all you have to ask. You know. So that is compassion, part of compassion. Anurakta he attracts everyone. Sad guna he bestows all good qualities and bestows superior happiness. This is subodha. These four things are. Called Subhadra. These four things appears in a devotee. So now, for each of these four things, first two are combined, and uh, then you know this there in proper purport also. So my proper writing also. Please read. पढ़ो किसके बाद माइक है? Shubhani Prinam Sarv Jagatam Anurakta Compassion for everyone and attracts everyone. 
Srila Rupa Goswami has given a definition of auspiciousness. He says that actual auspiciousness means welfare activities for all the people of the world. The Krishna consciousness movement is so nice that it can render the highest benefit to the entire human race. Everyone can be attracted by this movement and everyone can feel the result. Chapter 1, page 8. Yeah, so these are like portions taken from uh, this one. Day. Therefore, Rupa Goswami and other learned scholars agree that a broad propaganda program for the Krishna consciousness movement of devotional service all over the world is the highest humanitarian welfare activity. Yeah. Uh, Shara, Shara Bhakti Siddhanta Sorsa Dimala writes no? that the kind of compassion which Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has bestowed upon all this world cannot be paralleled or cannot be compared to anybody else doing any welfare work. The highest welfare work that. And Prabhupada writes in first canto at one place that if the Grasa devotees give 50% of their income for serving Krishna, then they are actually doing the greatest welfare activity for the whole world because that money can be used by the movement in Krishna service. So this is a, a broad propaganda program for the Krishna Krishna movement. So preaching is the highest act of compassion because then we are awakening people. Jeeva Jago, Jeeva Jago. We are awakening people and once awakening people, then it respect to what situation they are at an outer level. Internally, they can feel satisfied with that. What? Sada Gunaha produce good quality. <clears throat> a Krishna consciousness boy, even if he is not very well educated by the university standard, can immediately give up all illicit sex, sex life, gambling, meat eating, any intoxication. Whereas those who are not in Krishna consciousness, although very high educated, are often drunkards, meat eater, sex mongler, and gambler. Yeah. Sadhguran, so the, which words you can expect Prabhupada to quote? Yes, Shastri Bhakti Raghutya Ginchana. So he quotes that translation that later. These are practical proofs of how a Krishna consciousness person becomes highly developed in good qualities, whereas a person who is not in Krishna consciousness cannot do so. One who is not in Krishna consciousness usually cannot sit slightly even for half an hour. The yoga system teaches that if you become silent, you will realize that you are God. This system may be all right for a materialistic person, but how long will they be able to keep themselves silent? Artificially, they may sit down for so-called meditation, but immediately after their yogic performance, they will engage themselves again in such activity as illicit sex life, gambling, meat eating, and many other nonsensical things. Sri Prabhupada in October Devotion chapter 1. So, even though they may say that they become God, a meditation was how long? So, Prabhupada gives a contrast. On one hand, the devotees, hippies, they start practicing Krishna and they get transformed and they get all good qualities. On the other hand, you know, all other people, so called meditators also. They do silent meditation and still they are, you know, all materialistic and they are not able to give up these wrong activities. Even if they are highly educated, they are not able to give up. So that's why bhakti produces sovata. That means all auspicious qualities. Happiness. Lord Chaitanya once revealed himself to this confidential devotee, Kola Vecha Sridhar and offered him any opulence he liked. But Sridhar informed the Lord that he did not want any material opulence. This is, that is the position of pure devotee. Uh, in Chaitanya Bhagavat, I think he writes a sloka for that. Sridhar Kola Vichara Bhagya Tedeko Sima. Basically, that sloka says that just the the extent of good fortune of Sridhar Kola, which are that which Brahma and Shiva could not obtain, that is being bestowed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on him. So, it bestows superior happiness and a person loses taste for all things. We know about Yamanacharya, 
how he was the emperor of the entire world and he gave it up when he became attracted to Krishna. So many such incidences are there where a person, by experiencing superior happiness in Krishna consciousness, he gives up all things. In contemporary time also, so many properties. Giraj Bharat himself is son of a very rich man. His father was an attorney in the U.S. court and very rich man. He gave a blank check to Prabhupada. You can fill any amount. <laughs> very wealthy man. But Giraj Maharaj performed such austerities, lived in such severe, uh, difficult conditions, which are unimaginable. But that, because they experienced superior happiness. So, Sukhum Kartum Abhyam. Happiness derived from pure devotional service is the highest because it is eternal. Mayavadi sannyasis descend to the material platform again. No difference between mystic perfection and materialistic perfection. So, Prabhupada goes at uh, length to discuss these two aspects. Mayavadi sannyasis, they say, you know, Brahma Satya Jagat Mithyam, but after saying that, because they do not experience any happiness in Brahman, the eternal aspect is there, Sat is there, but there is no Chita and Anand. So then again, they say Jagat Mithya, then in the Mithya Jagat, they will do eye camps and they will do, you know, uh, medical camps, then they will do food distribution. And if Jagat is Mithya, then why do you add Mithya to Mithya again? You know, why do you spend your time investing, invest your time in doing something for the Mithya thing? But the most popular thing in Ramakrishna mission is the free hospitalization, the free medical treatment. That is the most popular thing in Ramakrishna mission. But Jagat is Mithya, body is Mithya, and still you spend so much time and energy to deal with that Mithya because they don't get a high test. Even sadhus in Saffron, they have a stethoscope and they do treatment for Mataji and all. So it's all nonsense, actually. It's not uh, the uh, right thing for them. But they don't have any higher thing to do. They don't get a high test. So they continue in that, that material satisfaction of helping the poor, Dharitana and Seva. That. And similarly, Prabhupada get, goes at length to tell that. Mystic perfection, material perfection are same. Like one siddhi is there uh, that you can, you know, uh, like when you can make a smaller than the small and pass through anything. So Prabhupada said, now they make tunnels and they can pass through anyone. So that is siddhi. Similarly, one can, you know, fly in air or touch the moon and they are now trying to go to the moon. So basically, through materialistic perfection, they are also trying to attain the mystic siddhi. They are equivalent like that. But Bhukti, Mukti, Siddhi, Kami, Sakalli, Asha. They still, even after attaining all that, they are all frustrated. You know that boy who had that mystic Siddhi, you read in this book, A Journey Home. So Mara saw that he came and he was bagging some paisa. He wanted to get married. After having Siddhi, he wanted to get married. Nobody was giving money. So then he you know, took that bulb and powdered it and ate it and all, drank water and everything. Like, you know, if you eat glass, what will happen? And then he took that iron rod and put one end of the iron rod on his eye here and one on the corner. Now, in general course, if you do like that, then the, naturally the eye will get destroyed. Right? And he just like, you know, on the eye he kept it and he just started moving and the entire rod got curved. You read it? there in Jenny Home. And then when the people saw it, Chamatkar ko, and they gave donation. And maybe he went and got married or whatever. <laughs> but, but then the point is, they have mystic siddhi, but their hearts are not pure. Their hearts are still having the kutam and bijam. See, they identify so much with that computer also. Na? Your battery is running low. They don't say the laptop battery is running low. They will say, your battery is running low. As if, you know, <laughs> we are as, as same as the computer or something. Your battery is running, but not same. Okay. Back. So we identify so much, no? Our Ramanapur used to do that exercise. Aap yahan se ja rahe hai, program ke liye, aur kathar chok pass karne ke baad, Chandni Chok pe ek dam jam mein phas gaya aap. Aur program wale ne aapko phone kiya. Prabhu ji, kya ho gaya? Kahan par hai? Kya bolenge aap? Kya bolenge? Phone kiya na, program wale wait kar rahe na, wahan pe loog. Audience aagaya. Phir kya bolenge? Mike ho bolo. 
रास्ते में रास्ते में और क्या है ट्रैफिक लगा हुआ है ना तो क्या बोलेंगे फंस गए जाम में फंस गए क्या जोर से बोलो मैं जाम में फंस गए हैं हाँ मैं जाम में फंसा हुआ हूँ रावण को तुम जाम में नहीं फंसे हो तुम्हारा गाड़ी जाम में फंसा हुआ है तुम गाड़ी से निकल के जा सकते हो <laughs> लेकिन क्योंकि हम हम कार है ना मेरा गाड़ी है तो पैदल नहीं जा सकते वी अंडरस्टैंड द प्रैक्टिकलिटी एस्पेक्ट बट ही विल हाईलाइट द मेंटेलिटी एस्पेक्ट कि हमको लगता है मैं जाम में फंसा हूँ आप जाम में नहीं फंसा आपकी गाड़ी कार जाम में फंसा है आप कार से अलग है आप कार से नहीं है मान लो टायर टैक्सी होती है टायर पंक्चर हो जाता है तो निकल जाते हैं ना दूसरा कुछ बस वगैरह पकड़ लेते हैं तो सेम वे वर्ल्ड इज मेड इवन द लैपटॉप यू नो दट आई बटन विल बी प्रोमिनेंट एकदम रेड करके एकदम आई शुड बी प्रोमिनेंट एंड ऑल द कीज आई इज द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट आई आई फोन आई पैड आई पॉड यू नो आई मैक्स वट एवर इज थिंग्स आई इज वेरी प्रोमिनेंट So, अरे ये तो हो गया ओके लेट्स रीड सुबोधा फ्रॉम यू नो नाउ फ्रॉम प्रोपर्स बुक नेक्टर डिवोशन एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल रीड द अदर पार्ट We will read all four things from Prabhupada's uh, like Nectar Devotion, and after that, explain a bit. And then, okay, read. Happiness, happiness in Krishna consciousness. Shri Rup Goswami has analyzed the different sources of happiness. He has divided happiness into three categories, which are happiness derived from material enjoyment. happiness derived by identifying oneself with the supreme brahman and happiness derived from krishna consciousness so there is jadanand material enjoyment there is brahmanand being merging with brahman and there is bhakti yeah there is bhakti anand happiness derived from krishna consciousness so similarly in the path of bhakti also in each stage there is a great joy experienced so shobhada is the experience uh, uh, Oh, I think uh, we have to read from a little more. Sorry. Right. Yeah, from. So anyway, I'll complete that. So Shobhada is the the joy, the happiness experienced in Sadhana Bhakti level, and then Moksha Laguta Krit. And sudurlabha. These are the qualities which get added in bhavale, bhavale. So moksha laguta krit. That means one reject the the happiness of liberation also. Ocean of Brahmananda, you know, becomes like fraction of a drop of the ocean of bhakti ananda, service to the Lord. The whole ocean of Brahmananda. So moksha laguta krit. In that moksha begins laguta. In in the stage of sadhana bhakti, the mental sense gratification becomes insignificant as one becomes steady at this come at the next level. Mental sense gratification is overcome, but moksha lagta kri happens in bhava level, and then sandra ananda vishesha atma. The happiness becomes so condensed, then that experience of yamuna charya or that experience of you know sharup osam is that when I hear these two word Krishna, you know so much nectar flows. So that sandra ananda vishesha atma. That happens at the level of prema. So all three levels is happiness. Fifty percent of characteristic of pure devotion service deals with the experience of happiness. So it's a very happy, blissful thing, and we should be happy, you know, going through everything. Otherwise, you know, people will get confused. We talk of happiness, but we don't look happy. Then it's a, it's a problem. No? Okay, from here we read. So what? Shila Rup Goswami, Krishna Goswami is all auspicious. Shilarup Goswami has given a definition of auspiciousness. Pass from the hours. Follow, follow. Continue. He says that actual auspiciousness means welfare activities for all the people of the world. At the present moment, groups of people are engaged in welfare activities in terms of society, community, or nation. There is even an attempt in the form of the United Nations for world health activity. 
but due to the shortcoming of limited national activities such as general mass welfare program for the whole world is not practically possible the krishna consciousness movement however is so nice that it can render the highest benefit to the entire human race everyone can be attracted by this movement and everyone can feel the result therefore rupa goswami and other learned scholars agree that a broad propaganda program for the krishna consciousness movement of devotional service all over the world is the highest humanitarian welfare activity how the krishna consciousness movement can attract the attention of the whole world and how each and every man can feel pleasure in this krishna consciousness is stated in the padma purana as follows quote a person who is engaged in devotional service in full krishna consciousness is to be understood to be serving the best service to the whole world and to be pleasing everyone in the world in addition to human society he is pleasing even the trees and animals because they also become attracted by such a movement unquote a practical example of this was shown by lord chaitanya when he was traveling through the forest of jharkhanda in central india for spreading his sankirtan movement the tigers the elephants the deer and all other wild animals joined him and were participating in their own ways by dancing and chanting hari krishna furthermore a person engaged in krishna consciousness acting in devotional service can develop all the good qualities that are generally found in the demigods it is said by shukdev goswami in the fifth canto of shrimad bhagavatam 18th chapter and verse 12 quote my dear king persons who have unflinching faith in krishna and are without any duplicity can develop all the good qualities of the demigods on account of devotees high grade of krishna consciousness even the demigods like to live with him and therefore it can be understood that the qualities of the demigods have developed within his body and quote on the other hand a person who is not in krishna consciousness has no good qualities he may be highly educated from the academic point of view but in the actual field of his activities he can be seen to be a baser than the animals even though a person is highly educated academically if he cannot go beyond the sphere of mental activities then he is sure to perform only material activities and thus remain impure there are so many persons in the modern world who have been highly educated in the materialistic universities but it is seen that they cannot take up the movement of krishna consciousness and develop the high qualities of the demigods for example a krishna conscious boy even if he is not very well educated by the university standard can immediately give up all illicit sex life gambling meat eating and intoxication whereas those who are not in krishna consciousness although very highly educated are often drunkards meat eaters sex mongers and gamblers these are practical proofs of a krishna conscious person becomes highly developed in good qualities whereas a person who is not in krishna consciousness cannot do so the experience that even a young boy in krishna consciousness is unattached to cinema night clubs naked dance shows restaurants liquid shops etc he becomes completely free freed he saves his valuable time from being extravagantly spent in the way of smoking drinking attending the theater and dancing one who is not in krishna consciousness usually cannot sit silently even for half an hour the yoga system teaches that if you become silent you will realize that you are god the system may be all right for materialistic person but how long will they be able to keep themselves silent artificially they may sit down for so called meditation but immediately after their uh, yogic performance they will engage themselves again in such activities as illicit sex life gambling meditating and many other nonsensical things but a krishna conscious person gradually elevates himself without endeavoring for this so called meditation simply because he is engaged in krishna consciousness he automatically gives up all the nonsense and develops a high character one develops the highest character by becoming a pure devotee of krishna the conclusion is that no one can truly have any good qualities if he is lacking krishna consciousness
So when, uh, you know, sometimes the devotees force the public for taking books or some image of preaching, sometimes there are letters to Prabhupada uh, complaining about devotees. So we don't have time for all that discussion, but Prabhupada will, will ex accept their point and say that because the devotees have <clears throat> given a material life, sometimes they're a little uh, protective, you know, they don't want to get into that. So they're a little more harsh and, you know, uh, harsh and what you can say they are uh, they are little strong against it but then after acknowledging that after that you write such an appreciation that these people earlier were so degraded life now they are waking up early in the morning and they are wearing dhoti kurta chanting God's name and for that he said that whatever little immaturity and mistake they may have made that will be forgiven but because their good part is so big so, one develops the highest character by becoming a pure devotee of Krishna. And that is why Prabhupada says that non-devotee have no good qualities because they are mano rathena, manaso dhavato bahi. So, it's a very important thing that somebody who is engaged in Krishna consciousness apparently may have some shortcomings, faults in behavior and, and something. But because he's following the four devotee principles, chanting Hare Krishna, he's in the process of refining now. He's already accepted shelter of Krishna. He, he chanting Hare Krishna. On the other hand, non-devotee may look very refined, very gentlemanly, very kind, but because he has not accepted Krishna as the Supreme Lord. So, we may say thank you to him, but we should know heart of the heart that actually all these good qualities are not of any use, because they are not engaged in Krishna. They are like zeros, but without one zero has no value. But somebody may have two zeros, but one is there, then it is hundred. Somebody has eight zeros, but there is no one, then it is useless. So, uh, by reading this, what one should do is, one should develop very high regard for the uh, Vaishnavas, even though there may be apparent shortcomings in them, which one should take care that one doesn't get into that, you know, <laughs> because, you know, everyone is growing at their own pace. But uh, one should have high regard for them surrendered to Krishna, their practice of Krishna consciousness. On the other hand, one can, uh, you know, when dealing with karmis and those who are not devotees, one can say thank you to them, but one should not get impressed by them. You know, sometimes you say, sometimes the non-devotees are better than devotees. You know? But this kind of thing comes only from an immature person. Actually, a mature person knows, even if there is a very rough and this and that devotee, but chanting Hare Krishna, he is million times infinitely better than the most wonderful karmi, but not chanting Hare Krishna, not having faith in Krishna. What is the use of that? What does it lead to? Nothing. So one has to change that conditioning. Because our conditioning is whoever makes us feel very nice, whoever deals with us very nicely, we feel very happy about it. We feel very close to him. And whoever deals with us harshly and chastises and comments, and we feel a little away from it. That's not the criteria. The criteria is who is chanting Hare Krishna and who is not chanting Hare Krishna. That's important. Okay, let's go ahead. Question. Uh, yeah, writes, Puri, uh, uh, there is even an attempt in the United in the form of United Nations for World Health Activity, but due to the shortcoming of limited national activities, such a general mass welfare program for the whole world is not practically possible. And then Prabhupada says that how Krishna government is nice and can handle the highest benefit service. So this yeah. is a, so this is of course true, how it can render highest benefit service. Because we give permanent solution, yeah. Other than that, but uh, uh, here, like uh, in terms of practicalities, just like United Nations cannot help the whole world, we also cannot serve the entire humanity also because we have also limited energy in terms of manpower and how much we, we are giving a chance, and not uh, everyone in the world will take to the same level. For example, like morning we go for Hari now, so all the plants and the trees and rickshawalas, autowalas, building people, they get benefit. They get benefit. They have heard the Hare Krishna mantra. So, we, as I was telling the other day, we cannot judge the impact of our movement only by seeing how many committed devotees are there in our temples. Anyone who is hearing Hare Krishna is also benefiting. Anybody who has said, Hard block, just keep hard, 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 Hare Krishna. People also raise one. Hard, 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 So, we cannot estimate when Rati Yatra happens, lakhs of people see Jagannath. Right? So, the impact with the devotion activities are creating cannot be judged only by that. Yesterday, he was only in Gopal Krishna Maharaj. Right? 
हम लोग बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करते हैं इतना लाखों बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूट हो गया बट यू सी ऑल ओवर इसको ऑन द नंबर ऑफ विजिटर इंक्रीजिंग एंड दिस इज एन इम्पैक्ट ऑफ बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड इट्स ट्रू मेनी पीपल हैव टेकन बुक्स हियर देयर इट्स देयर सो सो कृष्णा कॉन्शियस इज ए यूनिवर्सल वेलफेयर एक्टिविटी सो इट बेनिफिट्स एट एवरी वन मे हैव ए डिफरेंट लेवल एट विच इट इज बेनिफिटिंग but it benefits and to the extent we have the capacity we can get people train them educate them make them leaders and you know further tell them to preach and at the same time it is true that we have a lot of ground yet to be covered a lot of places within india where the holy name has not yet reached first party has not yet reached the traveling sankirtan party and the padyatra has not yet reached so we do go padyatra now if you see in last 50 years padyatra has covered lakhs of kilometers and many villages where padyatra has gone once only in last 50 years and somebody took book and so, so we have a lot of ground to cover at the same time we are trying the best so we have uh, coverage but lot to cover so we krishna bhagwan taking a van and he and his wife and son they just move around so now they went to sikkim so sikkim there is a small center a brahmachari living and trying to preach the distributed books gave program so like that there is a lot of ground yet to be covered but and lot of things happening still but still lot to to be done okay happiness in krishna consciousness shri lok goswami has analyzed the different sources of happiness he has divided happiness into three categories which are happiness derived from material enjoyment happiness derived by identifying oneself with supreme brahman and third happiness derived from krishna consciousness in tantra shastra lord shiva speaks to his wife sati in this way my dear wife a person who has surrendered himself at the lotus feet of govinda and who has thus developed pure krishna consciousness can be very easily awarded all perfection desired by impersonalists and beyond this he can enjoy the happiness achieved by the pure devotees happiness derived from pure devotion service is the highest because it is eternal the happiness derived from material perfection or understanding oneself to the brahman is inferior because it is temporary there is no preventing one's falling down from material happiness and there is even every chance of falling falling down from the spiritual happiness derived out of identifying oneself with the impersonal brahman it has been seen that great mayavadi impersonalist sanyasis very highly educated and almost daily souls may sometimes take to political activities or to social welfare activities the reason is that they actually do not derive any ultimate transcendental happiness in the impersonal understanding and therefore must come down to the material platform and take to such mundane affairs there are many instances especially in india where this maya this and is descended to the material platform again but but a person who is fully krishna consciousness will never return to any sort of material platform however alluring and attracting they may be he always knows that no material welfare activities can compare to the spiritual activity of krishna consciousness yeah we'll not go into detail in this he talks about anima siddhi of becoming a small and then he says that uh but it is actually a material science and all yoga siddhis are material arts one can float in air on water but now we have planes and all so we find that material scientists try for same perfection so there is no difference between mystic perfection and materialistic perfection german scholar once said so called yogic permission yoga perfection already achieved by modern scientists so he was not concerned with them he intelligently went to india to learn how he could develop his eternal relationship with the supreme lord by means of bhakti yoga and then he said there are certain things which they cannot attain like uh, lagoon going to the sun planet by the ray or he can touch the I have a moon with the finger, prapti siddhi, and all that. And modern scientists have developed nuclear weapon, but by ishita one can create and develop an entire planet at will. Another is vashita, by which one can hypnotize. So, so then there is prakya, uh, prakamya magic, by which he can achieve anything he like. And the last one is called kama vash. vashita this is also magic but you know kama is the permits one to <coughs> contradict nature to do the impossible thing foolish people isko padho foolishly people who are enamored of 
glitter of modern materialistic advancement are thinking that the Krishna conscious movement is for less intelligent men. I am better off being busy with my material comforts, maintaining nice apartment, family and sex life. These people do not know that at any moment they can be kicked out of their material situation. Due to ignorance, they do not know that real life is eternal. The temporary comforts of the body are not the goal of life. And it is due only to darkest ignorance that people become enormed of glittering advancement of material comfort. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has therefore said that advancement of material knowledge renders a person more foolish because it causes one to forget his real identity by its glitter. This is Jag Vidya Yatra Mayara Vyago Tomara Vajani Vada. Okay. This is doom for him because this human form of life is meant for getting out of metal contamination. By advancement of metal knowledge, people are becoming more and more entangled in metal existence. They have no hope of being liberated from this catastrophe. In the Hari Bhakti Subodaya, it is stated that Prahlad Maharaj, a great devotee of Lord, prayed to Nasimudir, the half line, half man incarnation, as follows My dear Lord, I repeatedly pray unto your lotus feet that I may simply be stronger in divine service. I simply pray that my Krishna consciousness may be stronger and steady. Because happiness derived of Krishna consciousness and divine service is so powerful that with it one can have all other perfections of religiousness, economic development, sense gratification, and even the attainment of liberation from material existence. Dharmartha Kamuksh. Last paragraph. Actually, a pure devotee does not aspire after any of these perfections because the happiness derived from divine service in Krishna consciousness is so transcendental and so unlimited that no other happiness can compare to it. It is said that even one drop of happiness in Krishna consciousness stands beyond comparison with an ocean of happiness derived from any other activity. Thus, any person who has developed even a little quantity of pure divine service can very easily kick out all other kinds of happiness derived from religiousness, economic development, sense of gratification, and liberation. And then he talks about uh, Kolavita Sridhar, how he was having nothing, his income was nothing. But Lord Chaitanya revealed himself, and the Lord informed that you can take anything. You can take the opulence of Sargloka, you can take the opulence of Vakunta, you can take the four kind of Siddhis. But he said, I don't want anything. So, and Narapanchata says, one who developed even little amount of devotion of doesn't care, eh? pick for any kind of happiness. And we hear from Prabodhana Sarasaj also, Kyavalyam Narakayate, Tridaspur Akasha Pushpayate. We hear from others also, it will come later, Nana Kapishtam, Na Chaparameshtam, Na Sarabhamam, Na Sadipatyam, Na Yoga Siddhi Rapunar Bhavamba. Okay. Samanja Shastva Virahiya Kankhati. Vrata Sarasaj's prayer, similar prayer is made by Kaliya also. And uh, another place that prayer comes with that. So, as the personal attendant uh, and maid servant of a queen follow the queen with all respect and obeisance, similarly, the joy of Dharma, Artha, Kam, Moksha, they follow the devotional service of the Lord. Pure devotee does not lack any kind of happiness derived from any source. He does not want anything but service to Krishna. And even if he should have another desire, the Lord fulfills this without the devotee the asking. So, so the about four things. Uh, Auspiciousness, benefit of everyone, then uh, bestowing of good qualities and bestowing superior happiness. And now it talks about Sudur Labha, the rareness of pure devotion service. Uh, somehow I'm bad in managing time. Anyway, let's let's read it. Ropa summarizes this. Yeah. There are different kinds of austerities, penances and similar processes for attaining self-realization. However, if even if an executor of these processes is without any material desire, he still cannot achieve devotional service. And aspiring and aspiring by oneself alone to achieve devotional service is also not very hopeful because Krishna does not agree to award devotional service to merely anyone. 
Krishna can easily offer a person material happiness or even liberation, but it is not agree very easily to award a person engagement in his loving devotional service. Loving devotional service. Devotional service can, in fact, be attained only through the mercy of a pure devotee. In Chaitanya Charita Amrita Madhya 19.151, it is said by mercy of spiritual master who is a pure devotee and by the mercy of Krishna one can achieve the platform of devotional service. There is no other way. There is no other way. Guru Krishna Prasad. Okay, go ahead. The rarity of devotional service is also confirmed in Tantra Shastra, where Lord Shiva says to Sati, My dear Sati, if one is very fine philosopher analyzing the different process of knowledge, he can achieve liberation from the material, en material entanglement. By performance of the material ritualistic sacrifices recommended in the Vedas, one can be elevated to the platform of pious activities and thereby enjoy the material comforts of life to the fullest extent. But all such endeavors can hardly offer anyone devotional service to the Lord. Even if, not even if one tries for it by such processes for many, many thousands of birth. So here basically it talks of two points. One thing is that it's Sudhullabha, it's very rare because on one's own endeavor, even if one performs, you know, Yagya Dana Tapa, even without material desire, still on one's own endeavor, one cannot attain it. Uh, so one cannot attain by one's and own endeavor. First of all, to perform them without motive itself is so difficult. But even if one is able to do that, one cannot attain it. Secondly, even if one prays to Krishna to bestow it, Krishna does not bestow it so easily. So endeavor se milega nahi, prarthana se bhi Krishna jaldi dete nahi. Isliye isko sudar lava kya hai. To fir hope kya hai? Hope to know that he is a special master. Samsara Dava Nalreda Loka Tranaya Karun Dhenagana. He is a sagar there and he is a piyasa here. So, sagar piyasa ke paas chal ke aata nahi hai. Piyasa sagar ke paas jane ko bhoat time lagta hai. So, beech mein baadar aake, wahaan se laake idar de deta hai. Tum, tum mat jau, tum wahi raho. Main beech mein transit, transition karta hai. That is why the special master devotees are considered in more merciful. So, they are the actual uh, Treasurers of the wealth of bhakti, they keep it. And one who has it can only bestow it. Na? So the highest amount of bhakti is with whom? Personality. Huh? Is picture master nahi hua? Iske paas hai bhakti sabse jada. Rather than him. Because she is the Mahabhav. She has Mahabhav. So. Because she is Mahabhav, that's why when Krishna comes in her mood, he becomes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is called Mahavadanya. So Mahabhav only can become Mahavadanya because Mahabhav is Mahavadanya. Na? Bank mein paisa hai, tabhi to so, so he becomes Mahavadanya. So that is why this Sudhullavata is now bestowed here, there, everywhere. That's, that is a surprise for the demigods. And another aspect for this is that. Sadaka bhakta and not easy to reach to bhav bhakti because this is a quality of bhav bhakti. So if a sadaka bhakta does not perform sadhana bhakti properly, then he will not reach to bhav bhakti. And even if he does a sadhana bhakti perfectly, still Krishna has to bestow mercy to take him to bhav bhakti. It is not by the process itself. Krishna's grace has to come in that. Because it is Talking of bhava bhakti, sudurlavata is of bhava bhakti, at least here talked of. Because sadhana bhakti, in any way, even if a person is induced by balotpadita or whatever, but sadhana bhakti maturing into bhava bhakti is a very, very rare process. Okay, kuch log to sadhana bhakti thik se nahi karte. Or sadhana bhakti thik se nahi karenge, desire nahi rakhe, bhava bhakti to hoga nahi desire karte. Or desire nahi rakhe, toh bhi krishna ka marsi aane ko time lagta hai. That's why it is sudurlavata. These two aspects have been uh, explained. Srimad Bhagavatam, it is also confirmed by Prahlad Maharaj that merely by personal efforts or by the instructions of higher authorities, one cannot attain to the stage of devotional service. One must become blessed by the dust of the lotus feet of a pure devotee, who is completely freed from the contamination of material desires. In 5th Canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th chapter, verse 18, Sukhdev Goswami also says to Parikshit Maharaj, My dear King, it is Lord Krishna, known as Mukund, 
who is the eternal protector of the Pandavas and the Yadus. He is also a spiritual master and instructor in every respect. He is only worshipable God for you. He is very dear and affectionate and he is the director of all your activities, both individual and family. And what's more, he sometimes carries out your order as if he were your messenger. My dear king, how very fortunate you are because of others. All these favors given to you by the Supreme Lord would not even be dreamt of. The purpose to this verse is that Lord easily offers him liberation, but he rarely agrees to offer a soul devotional service because by devotional service, the Lord himself becomes purchased by the devotee. So we should take it seriously. We have got that opportunity to do sadhana bhakti. And by sincerely doing sadhana bhakti and praying and being patient, then bhava bhakti will appear. In due course of time, which means a long time. <laughs> Once Radha Maharaj asked that how fast this process of bhakti works, we are doing so much and this, that. So Maharaj says, if you are very, very serious in your practice of devotion service, then the process of devotion service is gradual. Gradual means that still it takes time. <laughs> and if you are not very, very serious and intense, then it's a process of many lifetimes. So, Prabhupada made it still easier. You see, Prabhupada, in this, in this purport, you will not find Prabhupada talking about Bhava Bhakti quality and this and that. He will talk in the next chapter, he will say these two qualities of Bhava Bhakti. But he doesn't go so technical into that. Acharya explained, this is sadhana to Bhava, talking about that. Because Prabhupada is so confident that the process I have given, if somebody sincerely follows it, you know, with putting his heart, then by the mercy of the Lord, he will go through all these stages even if he does not have too much technical knowledge of them. He has such confidence. That's why sometimes in lecture you say, so we go and, you know, we go for Harinam, people become attracted, then they come up and uh, they say that, you know, you want to shift in temple, they shift in temple, they shave up and after that they start chanting Hare Krishna, that Bhajan Kriya, they start, then they beg for initiation and then we initiate them and then, you know, they give up tea, coffee, this and that, then another Nivrati. So he simplifies it. Although in technical way, it is not as simple as this, and then he dances in ecstasy, and you know, he's like, his faith becomes very strong, he simplifies it. But, uh, you know, one of the things which, you know, Prabhupada's mercy had done is that, uh, that Prabhupada's confidence in the process what he has given. Early times, the process were not so well defined. Different uh, gurus will define a different kind of sadhana as per the nature of the disciple, very specific thing. They will give him a, you know, dhyana, they'll give him a specific mantra. They will give him a Shiddha Pranali, you know, they will give him a specific personality to meditate on. But in this day and age, all we are struggling so much, you know. So, you know, if we are faithful to the process, then by the mercy of Prabhupada, because he is uh, the representative of, Shlam, of Lord Krishna, by his mercy one can make progress. Krishna doesn't bestow it so easily, but then servant of Mahavadanya Avatar, Mahaprabhu is Mahavadanya and his servant is Nityanand Prabhu, Nityanand Prabhu servant is Prabhu. But then one has some hope. Krishna himself personally rarely bestows. Not easy. <laughs> that. Okay, we'll continue tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll continue and chapter uh, 2 also will complete. Krishna willing. And then 3 and 4 will complete in, uh, in uh, next day, that means Wednesday. And 5 and 6. We will complete on Thursday. And remaining chapters, either I will complete or our Samarpan Gopu will complete in next month. So chapters are smaller, they go faster. Uh, these are more foundational chapters, especially these six qualities of bhakti and the definition of pure devotion service. Next chapter will define the definition of bhakti itself, two kinds of bhakti. And then uh, the eligibility for bhakti, three kinds of adhikaris. And uh, not Brahmacharis, Adhikaris are there. <laughs> not three kind of Brahmacharis, three kind of Adhikaris. <laughs> uh, is there any difference? Like Prabhupada said that Krishna is more eager to take us back to Godhead. And here it is saying that Krishna is, uh, he will not give, uh, give devotional service very easily. So it's like somewhat contradictory. contradictory. Yeah, that's a good question. 
taking back to godhead in one sense can i mean propa is of course talking of pure devotion service only but many times as he says that krishna gives material opulence and liberation very easily that liberation means the four kind of liberation in vaikuntha so he may liberate his devotee if a devotee is wanting and is serving krishna but the service attitude service mood is not so strong and he has not developed the, you know kind of uh, desire to just exclusively love krishna but he has some and i want to be in the planet of krishna i want to form like narayana and all those things so they are easier prema is prema and mukti are different so mukti is not bad thing all these four sampradayas say ravan says they worship lord narayan they want to become servant of lord narayan this is good they want to have salokya or samipya whatever they want to have a role in vaikuntha to that service even uh, uh, tattvadis in our sampradaya madhvacharya they want to attain liberation they say so our uh, dharma artha kama moksha moksha is also desired by many people liberation from this and that liberation is not just referring to the side jail liberation this full liberation are also there they are easily bestowed upon they are easily bestowed upon upon the devotee who they devotees only you know they are worshiping not vishnu narayan so they are vaishnava and taken so they are bestowed krishna bestows that's why it says he he bestows the the material benedictions and liberation so liberation includes that but when it come to prema it come to the special love which the lord offers to the devotee which is like what mahaprabhu has come to give that love for krishna so love for krishna such a thing it is not there only in the vedas upanishad is very hidden it's a pancham purusharth so that is why it is not so easily known right not so easily tried also by people it was so rare madhunpuri was the first one to manifest that ecstatic prema for the lord after that the sampradaya began like that nobody even knew and some people came jaydev the shandis was like that but very rare pockets so when it come to prema that prema is durlabha moksha is not durlabha so when you know krishna is eager to take us back to godhead now these are not technically written but it can mean to liberation the devotee is not very you know kind of exclusively looking for prema so that krishna will arrange for him but when is one is looking for prema then one has to uh, go through that special path where krishna will test him thoroughly <laughs> and krishna will really because that comes with the price now everything comes with the price is just somebody wants a car then one can book a nano car and get in two years a nano car char paye ke to car hai na nano nano car pata hai nan wo chalta hai ya band ho gaya chal chal hai तो मिल जाता है ना कितना है एक लाख पच्चीस हजार में मिल जाता है उसका ई एम आई दे तो दस हजार से तो दो साल में कार आपका है ना तो वो नैनो मिल जाता है कार ही है लेकिन अब किसी को ऑडी कार चाहिए तो फिर यू नो कार ही है वो भी लेकिन तो इसीलिए क्या है कि मोक्षा एंड प्रेमा आर डिफरेंट सो प्रोपत कॉज इट डिवोशन सर्विस सो लिबरेशन इकॉल लिबरेशन दिस इज कॉल डिवोशन सर्विस सो समाइम ब्रॉडली लिबरेशन ऑल्सो कैन you know be accepted by a devotee but here is exclusively devotional service writing in reference to the prema so if you go to that uh, uh, section i think it is there in that purport to yeah tham prapadyante or some purport so vishnu jagat jagur baldev devotion they go at great length to make a whole table kisko kya milta hai so liberation like this salok ke samne they can be attained by gyan mishra bhakta also and uh, you know yoga mishra bhakta gyan mishra bhakta karma mishra bhakta also they can attain that but when we are talking of pure devotion service this book is a pure devotion service this me gyan karma di anavrat so ye book prema se shuru ho raha hai so that is why we are not aware of those destinations and all but then those things krishna word na gyan mishra bhakti hai to bhi you know, don't have full love for krishna you have gyan of his ashwarya and all so that's also okay not a problem and there are some impulse even the yogis even the you know like brahmavadi meditators they meditate on parmatma and they want liberation so sometime if they accept the person form parmatma they become trees and plants and stones in vaikuntha they are living they are sentient they are, they are meditating and they have no material desire so there is a lot of variety which the prabhu has not opened the entire gamut he said i tum ja ke kal prem wala hi market khola hai okay mahaprabhu ke follower hai na 
So Rabbi Kunjat and Amir Atkuli. So we don't know about those, but they're all there and they're all bestowed upon by the Lord only because the only perfection in life, success in life or success in any special endeavors come by the mercy of Bhakti Devi only. Even Saivjya or to say other things, they all come by the mercy of Bhakti Devi. They have to mix a Bhakti component. But here we are talking of pure, no mix. No Bhakti Mishrit Gyan, Gyan Mishrit Bhakti, Kar Mishrit, there's different shades, 81 kind of mixed devotion service, nothing doing. So, ye jo prem hai na, iske liye to ragarna padta hai, ye to nahi milta. Kuch bhi karke, to sadhana bhakti thik se karke bhi, jisai le Gauru Anjwana bole na, I have opened a crying school, because unless you cry, Krishna doesn't cry. Rona to padega, akele ro, kirtan me harmonium ke saath ro, kal jasa ro, ekdam, ya apna ikan me alter ke saath me khade ho ke ro, या फिर माइंड ट्रबल कर रहा है मैनेजर ऑथोरिटी ट्रबल कर रहा है तो रो कुछ ना कुछ करके तो रोना तो पड़ेगा भगवान के लिए वो प्रेम रोने से मिलता है उसका कोई और प्राइस नहीं तत्र लौल्यम अपित मूल्यम एकम दैट इंटेंस ग्रीड एंड इंटेंस वांट आई वांट प्रेम ओनली नथिंग एल्स इवन ब्रह्मा जी कम्स एंड टेल्स मी दैट यू गिव अप दिस प्रोसेस आई विल नॉट गिव अप दिस प्रोसेस प्रेम लेके रहेंगे Krishna comes, Krishna comes and bestows many things. Like, you know, Sridhar Kola Vajaya says, Kola Vajaya Sridhar, what do you want? You tell me, you want the opulence of this world? I'll give you. You want the, reject the opulence of this world? You want Swarga? You want to sit at the Indra seat? I'll give you. You want to enjoy that Brahma Sokhim? I'll give you. You want to be in the Vakunda and any of the four mystic things? I'll give you. I'll make you the king of Vakunda. You just desire it. So, it's a big proposal. It's not a big proposal. We have a big proposal for the department. सेंक्शन हो जाए उसमें बहुत कुछ हो जाता है <laughs> जितना मांगा उतना मिल गया <laughs> उसमें ही हमको ब्रह्मानंद का सुख आ जाता है और एक्स्ट्रा कोई डोनेशन आ गया तो तो आनंद का क्या सीमा नहीं है तो थोड़ा बोलो क्या है अच्छा अमरस मिल गया तो भी हम आज कल आज के आनंद कीजिए तो इतना मिलना मिला नहीं है तो हम लोग बोलते हैं रिजेक्ट कर देंगे to cure people of cancer. And we have at our home somebody suffering right now from cancer. And we are given. Just now you'll be given that mystic perfection. Anybody you touch will get cured of cancer. We'd like to have it. So mystic city is very upper. Cancer is not going to happen. So what are you saying? What are you saying? You can see that there is a cancer patient in one month and the rest of the world is suffering. At that time, we will ask you. और हमको हो गया तो तो फिर यू नो वो भी सोचना चाहिए दूसरे के और अपने तो अभी क्या मिला नहीं है तो हम बोलते हैं हमको कुछ नहीं चाहिए एनिमल लगे हुए मई में हमको पता है उसका प्रोसेस कौन फॉलो करे यू नो सो प्योर डिवोटी डज नॉट डिजायर एनी ऑफ दिस थिंग ही वांट टू लव क्वेश्चन दिस वर्ड्स मारो भी राखो भी जो इच्छा तो हार आमिता वो नित्य दास दैट सर्वेट्यूड दैट आई एम योर सर्वेंट यू हैव टू मेंटेन मी एंड वेदर यू वांट टू सेंड मी टू हेल और हेवन डजंट मैटर सो दिस प्लेयर्स विल कम इन द चैप्टर 4 devotion service surpasses all liberation so liberation is not a small thing it's not an ordinary thing and it is not an offensive thing it is not an offensive destination but compared to prema it is not that one time radha mother was giving a lecture in vrindavan and he was saying that how the cows when they saw the calves they were running down the hill but the calves were all krishna and the gopas were all and the cows were running the others were flying milk and this and then after describing for 2 minutes it doesn't that make the happiness of vaikuntha sound insignificant all of us were shocked humko kaha vaikuntha vaikuntha to hum log to jaake prasad kam milega abhi kya karna like that. you know so he was so much relishing it you know? he made that statement doesn't make doesn't this make the happiness of vaikuntha sound insignificant to so, jaisa sadha ka sunta hai na krishna ke bare mein krishna prem ke bare mein to You know, even if other things are offered, doesn't make sense. Prema is needed. So, prema ka variety is different. Usko samajne ke liye, uska taste karne ke liye, then there is the whole process. And that's what is being offered by Mahaprabhu and uh, Shri Prabhu. So, yes, Krishna is eager, but in one sense, even Mahaprabhu is eager in the form of Krishna to give us prema also. So, it is not contradiction. They are making all arrangement, and they are making opportunity for us. But yet, because they are conditioned. So it will not be just an easy task to attain it. But if we are faithful, because Prabhupada has made that, imagine you have to do tracking for a mountain, how difficult it is by going by tracking, you know. But if somebody makes a road, 
they just get there by road so easily. And nowadays for Barsana and Nandigam, both ways they have made roads. The vehicle can go right up to there. Barsana mein to jo kaun sa mandir hai? Maan mandir hai. Ekdam pichhe gaadi jata hai. Just char sridi chadh ke aa jata hai. Aise wo sridi mandir mein ekdam gaadi jata hai. Chadna ho, to sridi bhi chadna ho, kitna difficult ho. Bina sridi ke chadna kitna difficult hota hai. Lekin jana to usi height pe padega na. So same way, Mahaprabhu has you know flooded the world with Harinam Sankirtan, which is the means. Like utna lene ke baad bhi usko to seriously lena padega na. So it will become easy for someone to attain if one takes the process seriously. The process is revealed. Mahaprabhu has come. That's why he's Mahavadanya. He's made the things easier. Prabhupada has made it even more easier. So, but yet, the fact remains that it is Sudhalava. That means even the people after knowing it, after being into it, will not take it seriously. That's why it will still remain Sudhalava. So, it's all there. Now it has been revealed that yes, this is the road, this is the staircase you can go, but it's still. Because the conditioned souls, they are so attached to sense gratification and they are so engrossed in, you know, how can I be happy? For them to think exclusively how to make Krishna happy is a very challenging task. It's not an easy thought. Uh, they learn that, yeah, we have to think of Krishna's happiness and theoretically we try that. But to live by that is a challenging task. And if we're trying to live by that, Krishna will definitely be merciful and give. So there's no, no contradiction. Krishna is merciful. But depending on the strength of our endeavor and how we attract the mercy of a spiritual master and the Mahats, the great souls, then the mercy will further find our life. So that opportunity for mercy is given. That is his kindness. And how do we utilize the opportunity? That is our part. Okay, we stop here. And uh, tomorrow we will further continue. Thank you very much. 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 Th